Today, I introduced the Citizens Count Census Act of 2019, a bill that would require a citizenship question on the United States Census. If we defeat the previous question, as the gentleman from Georgia said, then we will be able to consider my bill. It's always been common sense to include a citizenship question on our nation's census. The purpose of the Census Bureau and all census surveys is to collect data used for apportionment and to better inform the public about the population, business, and economics of the United States of America. The collection of citizenship information during a population census is a common practice among countries. This is not new, and it should not be controversial. A citizenship question is asked on the census in Australia, Canada, France, Germany, Ireland, Mexico, and the United Kingdom, to name a few. In fact, Mr. Speaker, the United Nations recommends that countries gather citizenship information about their populations. The United Nations. Knowing how many legal and non-legal individuals are within our borders is a perfectly appropriate question to ask on our census. And I hope we can pass this measure to see that happens. I strongly urge all of my congressional colleagues to vote for this common sense legislation to ensure we know exactly how many citizens reside in this country. Mr. Chairman, with that, I yield back. Gentleman from Kentucky uh, yields balance of his time. Gentleman from Georgia reserves the balance of his time. Gentleman from Maryland is recognized. I want to, I want to use it. Uh, Mr. Speaker, um, let's see, but, but I'll just reserve for my closing. I'm, we're ready to close, so. Ge gentleman from uh, Maryland reserves the balance of his time. Gentleman from Georgia is recognized. Speaker, can I ask how much time is remaining, Mr. Speaker? Gentleman from Georgia has seven and a half uh, minutes. The, uh, I'd like to. And a gentleman from Maryland has two, two and a half minutes. The, I would like to yield uh, four of those minutes uh, then to my good friend and the uh, ranking member uh, on the House uh, Oversight uh, Committee, the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Jordan. Gentleman okay. from Ohio is recognized. Thank the chair. Thank the gentleman for, um, for yielding. The Commerce and Justice Department have given 31,000 of pages documents to the Congress. Agency have provided, they've provided witnesses. In fact, we got another one coming in for transcribed interview later this month. And Secretary Ross, Secretary Ross came and testified for over six hours. Came in front of the committee, raised his hand, swore to tell the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth, so help him God, and testified for six hours. Secretary Ross and Attorney General Barr <clears throat> are doing their jobs. What's their reward? Democrats are going to hold them in contempt. Hold them in contempt because they're so focused, so focused on this citizenship question. And as uh, Mr. Comer, who's introduced the le uh, legislation, said just a few minutes ago, the citizenship question is nothing but common sense. Listen to what Judge Alito said. Listen to what he said two weeks ago. No one disputes that it's important to know how many inhabitants of a country are citizens. And the easiest way to figure it out is ask a question on the census. That's about as common sense as it gets. It's so common sense, we've only been doing it for 200 years. 200 years in one form or another, the long form, the short form, the 10-year form, the annual form, we've been doing it for 200 years. But somehow this year, oh, nope, can't do it this year. Can't do it this year. As Mr. Comer said, United Nations says it's a best practice. Lots of countries do it. But somehow the Democrats don't want us to do it this year. So I support, support the legislation that the representative from Kentucky's introduced, support the good work of our uh, Rules Committee member from Georgia, and certainly don't support the rule and the resolution that's going to hold Secretary Ross and Attorney General Barr in contempt. Again, doing their job, and what do they get? A contempt resolution from the Democrats. Ask yourself a question. Well, better yet, go ask your constituents a question. I'd encourage Democrats to go to your district, ask anyone in your district, do you think we should ask a question on the census if you're a citizen of this country? 
And my guess is just about every single person you talk to in your district will say, heck yeah, aren't we doing that already? And of course, you'd have to respond, yes, we are, and we've been doing it for 200 years. This is common sense. This resolution is not appropriate. And uh, I would urge the defeat of the rule, defeat of the previous question. If it gets to the floor, defeat of the resolution. With that, I yield back to the fine gentleman.